The most handsome dad in 530? That's not fair to everyone else, man. Come on now. Alex Combs. And uh, how old are you, Alex? 37. I'll be 38 in November, yeah. I have two kids. One is turning six on Saturday. The other one is one. And then we got a third on the way in a couple months. Staying busy. What's that like? Busy. <laughs> There's no free hours in the day anymore. What does fitness mean to you as a guy? I mean, I think fitness is what lets me do what I want to do with my kids. Like, I have very active kids. Like, they just want to wrestle or bike or climb or run or race. Right. My son last night got on his bike. He's like, I just want to race. You got to run down the street. And I'm like, race you on my bike. Yeah. How do you balance being a father and routine your routine? By doing it at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> like, I think once I had my second kid, um, there's a bunch of stuff going on, but ultimately I realized like if I wanted to stay consistent, like it had to be before everyone else got up. Because otherwise, like I used to like work out early afternoons. If you're trying to wrap up work, you got stuff with the family. There's always, like you have to think about it all day. Like, can I fit it in? Like, would I have to move around to get it in? And, like most of the time means you're not gonna be consistent. So for me, it meant like, all right, well, I gotta do it at 5.30 then. Be done home before kids wake up and I can do the rest of my day. Usually like five or six days a week. What's your, what's your motivation to stay strong and fit? Um, it shifts back and forth. I mean, outside of like just wanting to do what I want to do and not have to like think about like whether I can do it. Like there have been times where I've been like really into wanting to compete and like being really competitive. Uh, and then there's other times where life's too busy, right? And so it's more about like, I want to get something in, maintain my sanity, give me energy through the day, and not like going to prioritize thinking about competition. I'm kind of in that mode right now. And I think as I've gotten older, it's been easier to kind of like balance the waves of that. So it used to like really stress me out, like if I wasn't on top of what I thought I needed to do for competition. Now I think it's a little bit easier to just be like, all right, like this is just the way it is right now. Like just wait for a while, like the motivation will come back, like you'll have the time and space to do it again. You just gotta sort of accept where you're at for the moment. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Again, like I think very recently I've done a better job at not getting caught up in that. But there was always the question of like, I could be doing more right now. Like I got, I got 30 minutes free, like I don't need responsibilities for the next 30 minutes. Like I could fit something in here. I could go out and like practice handstand push-ups or like practice a skill or something like that. So I've been trying to focus really on like, I do my bit, I kind of have my window, I do what I can do in that window, and then outside of that, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. What's your favorite uh, 530 a.m.? Oh, there's just too many to pick. Too many to pick. The best dress 530 a.m.? Well, Jordan's got his shoes, but Vince has the, uh, Vince has the fits going, I think, for the most part. Vince in his purple shirt. Purple shirt, yeah. The most handsome dad in 530? That's not fair to everyone else, man. Come on now. I don't know, I think it just sort of like reframes. I think you have to just think a little bit more about like why you're doing it. And some of that I think is sort of recognizing that um, there's a lot of it that I do like to be active for my family and for my kids, but like also recognizing like a lot of this is like just for me. I think like everyone needs like something of theirs that whether it's a hobby or just something that like like occupy some space in addition to like family and work and everything else, but something that they can like be passionate about. And so I think working out for me is, it lets me do what I want to do, but it also gives me like my sort of release and. See yourself as a role model for the kids. For sure, for sure. I mean, I think that I'm sure plenty of people like come to it and find it like without necessarily having like a really immediate role model. But I know it's not going to hurt, right? So I think it's important for me, to, for my kids to like see me working out and see me pushing myself and see that it's like good to do hard things. Um, and so like my oldest son will come to the gym with us every once in a while and like he just wants to play in the equipment and stuff, but he also sees me doing rowing intervals <laughs> and the fact that it's not comfortable. Um, and then like he'll want to get on the rower and try it out. So like. You know, for him, it's more about like, it's, it's just play. But I think the more that you see that and the more that that's just normal, it's like the more you're gonna just incorporate that to your life naturally. I mean, I think it's just like, 
there's the time piece, but I think what's more important about the time piece is just wanting to feel like you're doing a good job at everything. And like some days that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like some days you're gonna do a good job at some things and not others. Um, <clears throat> but I, I think that's the hard part, is like getting to the end of the day and be like, did I, like, did I do a good job today? Like did I do everything that I need to do? Like did, was I the best version of a dad I could be, best version of a husband? And again, like not every day is gonna be perfect. But I think it's sort of working through and like knowing like, hey, like you don't need free hours anymore. Like everything's gonna be used up. Um, and then just making sure that you feel good about like how you use that time when the day wraps up. I would say my wife, my wife knows who I am at this point. Like she doesn't necessarily share like a lot of the like kind of physical hobbies that I have. Um, but she knows that it's kind of what I need to keep going and to, it's what I'm passionate about. It's what my outlet is. Um, and so she's supportive of it. Um, but certainly early on, it was new to her. Right? Like, oh, like, you do, like you're working out like twice a day. Like why, why on earth would you work out twice a day? Uh, so it was a growing experience together. It's like this is just kind of what I'm into. Like pre-kids, it's just like that's what I do for fun. Um, and then post-kids, just sort of knowing that like that's part of what kind of I need to be at my best. And, I think we try and be really open and talk about and communicate, like, again, how we're spending our time. And, you know, we jointly sort of coordinated and talked about, like, hey, 5.30 is probably the best time for our family, for you to do what you need to do, and, like, still be able to take care of the kids and, like, do everything else we need to get done, so. Not smooth. <laughs> like, I wrapped up college. I was so burned out on playing soccer. So I've been playing since I was in kindergarten. And, like, I just stopped. I was like, I graduated, I didn't do anything. Like, and I spent a couple of years like not doing anything until I got to the point of like, you know, I was heavier than I wanted to be. Like I wasn't fit anymore. I think that was a hard transition because especially you're playing organized sport, like things are all mapped out for you. Like you have a season, you have an off season, you go to summer, they send you a packet and it's like, here's your workout for every day. Like this is what you need to do through the summer so you can show up to like preseason training camp. And so like you just execute what's on the page and you show up to practice and you do what they do, they tell you to do at practice. And so then you graduate and you're like, now what? <laughs> like, I gotta figure it out on my own. So like that was a that was a hard transition. But the good thing about that is like eventually when I got back into it, I found new ways of being self-motivated. So I had to learn like, oh, this is important to me, like just for me, and I'm gonna figure it out for myself and I made plenty of mistakes there too. <laughs> doing too much, doing the wrong things, hurting myself from overuse, but like, you know, I got to a point where I'm much more self-motivated now than I was playing soccer. Um, because now like I'm doing it because it's important to me. Like I gotta get myself up every day. There's no, there's no some broader structure in place that's gonna like keep you on track. Like you gotta, you're ultimately accountable for yourself. For sure, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. If I had the mentality I had now, back as like a middle school or high school student, I would have been a way better athlete. So I think you realize like you kind of like start something, and especially as a kid, you kind of keep doing things because you build momentum in that direction. And then you're like, oh, I guess it's just what I do now. But I was not, I had coaches who would tell us like, you know, if you want to be good, like you're the kid who's going and kicking a ball against a wall for three hours every night, like by themselves, right? And like, that was never me. Like I was like, I would go to practice, I'd do my thing, I'd play the games, I'd go back home and like, I'd do other things, right? I wouldn't, like that wasn't what consumed me. Um, so yeah, like, but I think like if you're able to self-motivate that way, you're gonna be far better than if you're externally motivated. I think if you're, if you're looking to stay fit, like you already kind of have that habit built in, like, Again, recognize that the season you're in, and it's like, keep the habit going, but like, don't worry about emphasizing it. Like, you got more important things going on, and like those moments, especially like becoming a dad for the first time, they go fast, like they go real fast. And like, you're not gonna wanna miss out on a lot of that stuff, so like find, like, find your half hour, like go get something in, and then like enjoy the rest of it. Those moments don't last very long. It's easy, like you get six years down the road, and you're like, my son just started first grade yesterday. I'm like, how, how are we here? Like, how are we in first grade already?
it was just like I had goals and like that was the way I was going to achieve those goals. I was like going to go out to the garage and like I was going to do what I had to do and it's just a very different mindset and like coming in and like having friends and you're working out with buddies and I think it's again been like a good balancing effect for me because like I can go in and like push it but it's not like when you're just alone in a garage it's really easy to tip into like like pushing it too much because like all you have to focus on is like I have a goal I want to achieve the goal like there's no distraction like you're just going to get in you're going to hammer it um, here it's like a little bit easier to like sort of step back from yourself a bit and be like, listen, we're gonna have like some fun. You can BS with folks and like it just, it gives it a different, it's a different and probably healthier dynamic. Is there a specific one that comes to mind? Um, I think the first thing I think about was probably like Saturday training sessions. Like, and I don't know if there's like one, maybe like just thinking about like some of like the early Saturday sessions because they're always partner workouts. And I had like never done a partner workout in my whole life because I worked by myself in the garage. So like coming in and being like, oh, like you work out like with people, like together, like doing a workout, it was like totally foreign, but also like very fun. That was like a very quick on-ramp to being like, oh, like working out with the community is different. Um, so I think that, that's kind of like what stands out, like that, like kind of coming up to speed, like starting to work out with people for the first time on Saturdays, that was cool. Just keep going. Uh, 